New Scientist is reporting on something which is absolutely heartbreaking and devastating, and it's about the issue of climate change. They say, quote, It's too late to stop the seas rising at least 16 feet, and without immediate intervention, sea levels will rise 65 feet. Whoa. Now, the thing that's so disheartening about this report is that they're not playing games anymore. Oftentimes, when you read different studies or different articles on the issue of climate change, they'll say, yeah, it's bad. It's really, really bad. But here's reason, uh, reason A, B, and C as to why we can fix it and how we can fix it. And this is the proper way to go about it. Now we have reports that are just keeping it real. And they're like, look, man, you missed your opportunity. Like, don't get me wrong, you still have to address it, but it's already going to be horrendous, even if we stop completely going in the wrong direction and we jam it into reverse. We're already still fuckedington. In fact, I'll give you exactly what they say. They, they say, quote, Whatever we do now, the seas will rise at least... 16 feet, most of Florida and many other low-lying areas and cities around the world are doomed to go under. Alright, I want to be crystal fucking clear about this. Those aren't my words. It sounds like something I would say, right? That sounds like something you'd hear directly from secular talk. That's in, you know, my language. That's how I speak. This is a new scientist. New scientists. These are serious people. I'm an asshole who makes fart noises and jokes around half the fucking time. And they're speaking like me. You want to know why? Because it's fucking serious. They said, they said, whatever we do now, the seas will rise at least 16 feet. Most of Florida and many other low-lying areas and cities around the world are doomed to go under. Doomed to go under. We can stop, we can wake up tomorrow, stop using all fossil fuels, which is not going to happen, of course. It's a funny to even bring it up. We can stop using all, switch completely to renewable energy, and it would still rise 16 feet. Florida's gone. I don't think people realize just how much our generation failed. And I'm actually, I'm being too hard on my own generation, millennials. Because we all, our opinions are clearly in line with, do something about it now. But like, the, the older generation, the baby boomers, you fucked up. No, you ruined it. You ruined it. So what what do people say to our great grandkids? What are those what are they gonna think of us? What are they gonna think of us? They go, oh, you mean the fucking idiots who sold out everybody's future to make some profit? So you can buy a, you know, a three thousand square foot home as opposed to a fifteen hundred square foot home? Those fucking idiots? My great uh, grandparents, my great great grandparents, yeah, fuck those assholes. Selfish little pricks. The economic system they set up. Ruin the planet! It ruined the planet! They're assholes! Of course they're assholes! Is that how you want to be remembered? That's how you're gonna be remembered! But see, that's the thing, people, people love, everybody loves to have an opinion and loves to think of themselves in the most, the most positive light imaginable. Your opinion of yourself is gonna be fucking irrelevant when you're long dead and gone and it's your great-grandchildren who are looking around at the world that we fucking torched. Do you understand that? You're gonna be remembered as bad people because you couldn't get your shit together to save the fucking climate of the earth that we live on. How dumb are you? Are you really that stupid? Or is it just you're incredibly selfish and narcissistic and you can't fucking see straight because all you're concerned about is your own material well-being and your own little bubble that you're in? You fucked up the planet for the next generation. How do you feel about that? I'm asking a serious question. Now again, people might say, well, you're, come on, you're taking it too far. Getting all angry about it and, and yelling about it. I just told you what new scientist said. It's not me. New scientist says, you're fucked, you're done. It's it's, the sea level's rising 16 feet. Uh, Florida's gone, even if we stop using all fossil fuels right now. So, this, this is what we call science. And by the way, as I've said before on the show, that's not even the worst of it. Sea level rise is like 
the smallest issue when it comes to climate change and how much it'll fuck everything up. Do you understand there's a reason why it's called climate change? Because the climate changes and areas that are supposed to have a certain kind of climate shift. So people are talking about the drought in California. That could be the new normal. It was never like that. California was never like that with droughts like this. But that could be the new normal for that area. Now there's other places in Texas that had a different kind of climate. Now they're flooding every 57 seconds. Historic floods all the time in Texas. That could be the new normal. We're, we get used to certain things being certain ways, climate, the climate being a certain way in certain places. And we depend on that for agricultural reasons and other reasons. And then it could change because we, uh, we fucked up and we used too much fossil fuels and we destroyed the environment and we polluted to no end. And then you fucked up the, the way the entire system works and then people are going to have to migrate and move from one place to another place. Not to mention more drought, more extreme weather uh, that's going to affect food prices tremendously. You're going to run out of fresh water in certain areas. Some places in the Midwest get their fresh water from mountaintops, snow caps on mountaintops. Well, where the fuck are you going to get your water from when there's no more snow caps on mountaintops when they go away? Some people say, well, you get them from underground. Oh, really? We're going to get them from underground when fracking is exempt from the Clean Water and Clean Air Act and all the underground water is now polluted because of that. Where are you going to get your water from, tough guy? You, there's nowhere you can get it from, right? So what are you going to do? But see, that's the thing. Human beings, in many ways, we're very piggy, we're very selfish, we're very narcissistic. We can't foresee future events and act to try to stop it. So we'll just run into the problem. We'll go... 80 miles an hour into a brick wall of the problem that is climate change, and then we'll all be scrambling, there'll be wars and shit, and we're going to try to figure out how are we going to make this, how are we going to make this thing work again? And we'll be picking up all the scraps. Not to mention, if you're a fiscal conservative, and that's your main concern, this is going to cost trillions of dollars. Already from the economic devastation from extreme weather events that are more frequent, it's already cost billions. It, it's not going to stop. It's not going to stop, and it's all because... We couldn't get off uh, fossil fuels. Now, I get it, man. Look, is, is there something to be said uh, at some level for natural cycles and the way the climate works? Of course, there, a certain degree of that is natural, and of course it would happen. But it, monkeys don't drive cars, okay? It's not, they're not working the, the coal plants. They're not working the chemical factories. And it, you cannot deny that human beings not only have contributed to it, but we did the bulk of the climate change because we're pumping fossil fuels into the atmosphere. It increasing the greenhouse effect. This is all understood, man. This is all settled science. It's just a matter of, are you going to be an ignorant prick or are you going to read about it and understand the way it works and try to fix it? So what do we do now? Well, we do what we're supposed to do, which is we fucking buckle down, get off the fossil fuels, move to renewable technology, and... Uh, Cross our fingers at that point and hope that it doesn't get too bad. But it's already going to be horrendous. It's already going to be at least 16 feet of sea level rise, plus many other problems. And it's because we were dragging our feet the entire time. Now, they say that this change is going to occur within, quote, a couple centuries, maybe even less. Which is a blink of an eye, historically. A blink of an eye. A couple centuries. And then, at the same time we learn this, allow me to add... I think I've been hard enough on the people around the world at this point. Uh, we learned that oil companies knew about climate change back in 1981. See, they have the fake scientists they send out there to try to convince you that climate change is not happening. Uh, and those are the ones on their payroll, they pay them a metric fuck ton of money, and they go, oh yeah, climate change, don't worry about it, no big deal. But then they also have real scientists that tell you what's actually going on, they tell them behind the scenes. Uh, they knew about this in 1981, they knew about climate change, and they've been fighting any kind of reform ever since because it would cut into their bottom line, it would cut into their profits. <laughs> so, uh, their stranglehold on our government and world governments is uh, one of the, the biggest culprits in this whole situation too, let's not forget that. But either way, no need to continue to point fingers right now, we have to slam on the brakes, go in the other direction, and even when we do that, pff, buckle up, it's going to be bad. But that's no excuse to not act now. We've already used that excuse for too long, and it's going to get worse, 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 worse. If we don't turn around now, how bad do you want it to get?